write it down. We have a few little uh, prize certificates for later on in the evening. If you made the most money, if you were selected as the best actor or role player or actress, whatever you want to call it, uh, and if you let's see, figured out who done money, actress and best role player, oh, best costume. So best best dress, best actor, actress, uh, who done it, and who made the most money. Okay. I don't so, care who murdered it, I didn't want my money. I'm going to pass out the who done it slips, and then in a moment, the you know, Marsha is going to give you the results of the investigation. You know, you damn law, man. Hey, you know, you hey. Oh, talk, money talk, okay? It doesn't matter who did it. Come on! Approximately 8 o'clock tonight. I've got to catch the train out of midnight or out of here. We know he's dead because he's sitting there drinking beer, drinking <laughs> beer. If I had a violin, it's a violin investigation, and this one uncovered. What did it cost? So, here's what I discovered. I think he's full of it. I don't think he has as much money. A Colt 45 is the murder weapon was found at the scene. The weapon is a Colt. After dusting it, I found fresh gunpowder residue on the handle, which revealed some fingerprints. But because of the smudges, I was unable to clearly match the prints with any of the guests. Luckily, Exhibit B was a note. A handwritten list of signals that were turned over. The list of signals were written by Mitch Maverick. His handwriting indicates he may have been cheating. Which player you're not sure of? But the list was turned over to Miss Holly Hickok. Oh, Holly! She claims, she claims it was confiscated from. Mr. Maverick's room last night. Oh, 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 she also claims that she was not an accomplice, right? You know. We have no, we have no proof supporting either way. I wouldn't believe her. Exhibit C is a foreclosure notice from the bank. flavor. Um, we had two samples of meat on there and both of those were very tender and juicy. My least favorite, I had two one in five. Uh, the uh, skin was very tough. Um, not a lot of flavor on the first one and the fifth one. Um, there, The flavor was, was off. It just didn't uh, blend well. My favorite was number four as well. Um, the tenderness was perfect and the flavor was very, very good. Um, number five was also my least favorite. It, it had a very strong, smoky flavor to it and uh, definitely stuck around a little bit too long. Mine was also the same. Number four was my favorite because of the mix of spices and um, the tenderness was also r spot on. Um, number five was also my least favorite, and um, it was um, very fatty and greasy, and it bland. I'm not sure what, there was no flavor to me.
Okay, my favorite was uh, number three. I thought it had uh, great tenderness and flavor, uh, a little bit spicy, but uh, it uh, went good with the meat. Um, number one was, uh, for me, was underdone, uh, but it had great flavor. Number two, uh, the, there was a, a spice in there that really overpowered the flavor of the meat, um, but it had excellent tenderness. Um, number three, like I said, was, was great. Number four, um, Again, the spice that was in it uh, overpowered the flavor of the meat, and it was extremely hot, uh, which is not bad, but it lingered into the, the next one. And number five was uh, definitely undercooked, and, uh, but had, had pretty good flavor. Great. And put it's worn yeah. down on I've each seen side. A lot of ribs in my life, and these are the best looking ribs. Putting, I've ever putting more. You're put, you so want to put more than we six? Do we do have audio on that video, right? Yes, we do. That's good. And I'm an innocent nah. bystander. Which one? <laughs> Depends on how innocent you are. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, like? one. yeah scoot it over a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, I would say this is. Four out of five were good ribs. Uh, the last one was, I didn't have a whole lot of taste to it, and it was uh, underdone. Um, the other four were, let's see, number three and number four were, tasted very good. Uh, and let's see, one and three were a little overdone, and two and four were a little underdone but still pretty good okay. number one and two had the best flavor to me however they were almost overcooked number three was average four was average number five was uh, almost o undercooked it was a little bit tough I think the, the first four the tenderness was pretty good the, the fifth one was a little undercooked and I probably like the taste of the number two the best. Uh, I would say for tenderness, I liked one and three. Number five was a little bit tough. As far as flavors, I thought they were all fairly similar. My favorite was number one. Number five was overcooked and tough, and the flavors were all similar. Yes, and looking at these, uh, number five was probably the uh, toughest one of the bunch. Uh, I liked number th uh, three and number uh, four. They had the one bite that you're looking for, outstanding barbecue. <laughs> My favorite was number four, this one. I thought it had the best smoky taste and the best flavor. It was a little bit dry, however, but overall the plate, I thought it was the better. My favorite was number four. <clears throat> it tastes more like pork. It didn't have an over sweetness to it, and it was a little dry, but overall it was the best barbecue pork smoked unsweet flavor that we had. Well, I'll disagree. I thought number five was the best. Uh, the other three were okay, and one of them was below average. Okay, I like number five the best, but uh, it was just a little mushy. Uh, four did have a great flavor, but uh, number five tasted a little better to me. I felt that number five w and number two were the best. Um, all of them seemed to be a little bit overcooked and a little bit mushy to me. Um, and number four was probably my least favorite in terms of tenderness, but the taste was okay. Um, but overall, they were 
overall kind of subpar overcooked for me. I like number two the best of all of them. Uh, that had the best flavor and overall uh, consistency for me. Um, the others, they were all very close. They were not quite as good as number two in my opinion. Uh, they were all very, very close in their um, quality. And overall, they everybody did a really good job on them. Uh, number one was uh, my least favorite. It's very tough. Um, it was very cold as well. And number five was my favorite. It was nice and tender, had great smoke, and had a little sweetness to it. Okay. Um, one and two to me um, were cut way down in texture because they were not done. They didn't pull apart easily. Um, pretty tough. Um, four and five, I thought the texture was really good and the flavor was there. So four and five would be my favorites. Uh, number one was my least favorite. Uh, very tough. Um, couldn't even pull it apart hardly. Um, and number, probably a close between four and five. Um, were very good. Good flavor and good pull. Uh, number one and two for me were uh, very tough. Three, four, and five were a close race, but uh, I think four was my favorite. It was very tender, very juicy. Uh, had a good, real good flavor. The favorite on mine, I think, was probably number five. I had a really hard time, since we don't compare them side by side by side. It was three, four, and five were all excellent turn-ins. Um, and the brisket or the burn in that came with number three was just top notch, melt in your mouth. But they were all very good. This is the best turns in turn ins I've seen for brisket. Uh, the one I least liked, I guess, really was number one. It was a little tougher, stringier than the others. I think it was overcooked, a little dried out, but they were all good efforts. My least favorite was number one. It was very tough, and I didn't think it had a good flavor. As far as my favorite, it'd be hard to pick between three, four, and five. I thought they were all very good, very tender, good flavor, uh, very moist. <laughs> ¶¶